Hello everyone, and welcome to The Mortuary. I am The Mortician. And today I have a post-mortem on Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this film, this is a film about a, bo a man by the name of Alex. And Alex is a gang leader. He runs the gang, uh, the Droogs gang, I think it's called, the Droogs. Um, and basically, these guys would go get high on heroin-laced milk in a bar, and then they would go out and commit acts of ultra-violence. If you don't know what ultra-violence is, ultra-violence is basically, they would go out and beat the shit out of, like, homeless people and, like, rape women and stuff. Um, and it's, it's a pretty entertaining movie for the most part. Um, however, it does have its flaws in my opinion, but we'll get into that later. I want to praise the film a little bit first. Um, first thing that really needs to be praised is cin cinematography. Every shot is done really well. I do like the camera work tons. I do enjoy the way, um, they work the camera. It's like, there's this point where he's getting into a fight with the homeowner. Um, and, and it has a bit of a shaky cam, but it's not overdone. It's, it's done pretty expertly, so that way you know you can actually tell what's going on and what's actually like um, what's actually happening. It's, a, it's a, done really well, and it's unsurprising, you know, being a Stanley Kubrick film, because he's, he's pretty, as far as I've read about him, he was pretty fucking sadistic. Like, he would have people do things a hundred times until they got it perfectly, so it's unsurprising that the camera work is, so, is done so well, and the acting is done so well, because it's another thing. They really enjoy about this film for the most part. Um, uh, Malcolm McDowell plays Alex, and he does an amazing job. I think he's a great actor, um, and he and he kills this role in my opinion. Um, there are other other a couple other people who are important to the film, but um, once again, those are kind of negative sides. I also like to, you know, say that I think that this is probably the first popular exploitation film and the reason I say it's an exploitation film and not a horror or a drama or something like that is simply because of the the things it's trying to accomplish a clockwork orange is trying its ass off to make you uneasy it's trying to make you cringe it's trying to make you uncomfortable and most of the time it, su it succeeds it does it really really well so I think that's something that they've done quite awesomely is like when you're watching an exploitation film, you, you kind of want to be uncomfortable and it hits it in spades in my opinion. Um, especially there's a part where he's raping this girl or they are and he's, you know, singing, um, singing in the rain. And it's like, it, it, it's just so uncomfortable to watch that scene. Normally it wouldn't bother me. Like I've seen rape scenes in lots of movies, but like that one just like gets under my skin. It's like super creepy um, and cringeworthy. Um, and that's another thing is the score. They did a really good job. I actually liked a lot of the music. I thought it was the whole purpose of the music in this seems to be as disconnected from the actual, like, what's actually happening as possible. Because there are a lot of upbeat things being played while they're being little dickheads. Um, and it works really well. I really enjoy it. Um, what else is there? I do like the style of the film, too. Like, I like the, uh, I like the costumes. I think they're really, really cool. Um, they wear, uh, wear these really weird, like, re like really white um, pants and, like, button-up shirts and stuff with, like, suspenders and whatnot. Um, I think he wears, I believe it's a fedora or a bowler's cap, I think it's called. Um, and, and just the costumes look really, really good. There's a part where he's walking through a, uh, what I think is, like, a mall, like, a really shitty mall, and he's wearing this, like, purple, I want to call it, um, overcoat and with this white, almost silverish, um, uh, collar opened up it looks really good the costume work is done really well and I enjoy it a lot as well um, there are a couple of things I don't like about this film <sighs> watching it for the first time because I actually tried to watch this movie two different occasions the first time I watched this movie um, I didn't finish it I, I, I kept going like what the fuck is the point of this what is this what, why is this happening 
does this bleed up to something you know i just i just felt like it was kind of a pointless thing like it just felt pointless i guess i can say and that's kind of how i i got those feelings coming up watching it again and actually finishing it this time but um yeah they surprisingly deliver but i just can't shake the seemingly pointlessness of it um maybe there's something i'm not understanding but i just feel like it it, it evolves into nothing like it could have been a good lesson about government overreach or something um but it just i don't know it just seems to go really nowhere towards the end and the ending was meh like it could have had this there was a point where he's locked in a room and he, they're playing some obnoxious music, we'll say, to, put, to, like, you know, shield up the spoilers. And he jumps out the window. That would have been a perfect place to end it. And they didn't do that. I don't know why the fuck they didn't end it there. But they just chose not to. It would have been a fitting end for a piece of shit, for the most part. It just would have worked fine. But there's a whole nother, like, 16 minutes where he's in the fucking hospital. And it's just like, at that point, I lost even more interest. Because, like, even towards, like, the center of the film, there's a part where he breaks into someone's house, and that person had called the police before they uh, attempted to break in. Um, and in doing so, he got arrested. And, like, this whole section, from the moment that he shows up in the interrogation room till the moment he leaves has got to be the most fucking boring shit I've ever seen. Um, although the part in the cinema was really cool. I did like that. But mostly I was just like falling asleep during it. Like it was like this movie was like assaulting you with all of this stuff. Like all this uh, craziness and fucking, uh, uncomfortableness, and now it's, like, subsided, and it just becomes a drab film, until well after he gets released, or until approximately where he gets released, and uh, that's a huge thing, like, I almost turned it off again, I almost didn't finish it for a second time because of that, I mean, there are some things it does really well, but, it, it, it when it when it misses a note or something it seems to fucking really miss that note hard it, it, it it's just such a shame i don't think i i don't hate this film cuz I, I it might sound like i do i recognize its importance i recognize um the i i, I guess you'd say icon the most more iconic things in it but ultimately I just feel underwhelmed. Like, I feel like this movie was going to be like, once I put this on, it's going to be the best thing I've seen or one of the best things I've seen. It's going to blow me away and I just left with a meh. Honestly, do I recommend this? Now, this is important. I do recommend you see it. The reason I recommend you see it is not because of... Um, Anything in particular, but I think it's important to watch it simply because it's the first exploitation film that broke popular, that like became popular. Because that's what it really is. That's, that's, it's, that's to me is its claim to fame. Um, so if you watch it, just be aware that you might be let down, but I think it is something worth watching. I think there is something of value here. Just not as much value as everyone else says. I, I think that people overblow how amazing this film is. So if you do watch this, which once again I recommend you do, just make sure your expectations are taken down a bit. Because if you do not, if you come into this with the expectations that everyone else set, you will be disappointed. Like I was. But knowing what it is now... The next time I watch it, I would probably end up enjoying it. I probably will end up enjoying it. So, thank you guys for watching. Definitely check this out. But check it out with stunted expectations. Mortician. Peace out.